Thank you, everybody. I have a whole bunch of new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Mahal Kital to you all in the Philippines. Um, I, today, I'm going to show you a video from Matt Frazier, who was the person we um, went to see in Operation Peach Pit. And that was one of the articles in the New York Times. I also caught him hot reading and I've seen him live and he's one of the best cold readers I've ever seen. But he will hot read if he needs to and he doesn't think he's going to get caught. He had the TV show Meet the Frasers and it only lasted for one season. And now he's back to whatever he's doing that he did before. So he's he's worked his way up. He's really been working hard to be um, a top medium, but he really isn't a top medium. What you're looking at is a Wikipedia page view analysis. And what we use this for is it's more of a true gauge of how to know uh, fame and popularity. How often are people actually interested in a topic and they're looking at it and they want to know something about somebody, something or whatever. And here we're looking and we see it's Matt Frazier, the psychic. This is the last 90 days. And you can see that there's been a few days where there's 299 people, 300, 300 people who've actually gone to Wikipedia to look the person up. So they're curious about who they are. Do they have, a, are they married? Um, how old are they? Where do they go to school? You know, whatever they want to find out about a person. So this is something where a knowledge, they want some kind of knowledge about them. So these are great to be able to look at to see you know, how they are um, doing. So in the last 90 days, he's getting about 188 views a day, uh, 17,000 views. I mean, that's in the world of psychics, that's like nothing. Let's, let's, let's take a look at uh, Sylvia Brown. I don't know what that's going to come up with in the night, last 90 days. She's got on average 442 views a day. She's been dead how many years? She died in 2013, and she's still <laughs> she's still way more views than he does. People aren't really all that interested in him. I mean, maybe let's try uh, let's try to put it in perspective. Let's look at Raggedy Ann. Remember those dolls? Do you remember the Raggedy Ann doll? I, I love those things. So Raggedy Ann is. Hmm, just under Sylvia Brown as far as popularity, but above Matt Frazier. So Raggedy Ann doll gets about 400 views a day. Um, what's that cat's name that was all over the internet for a long time and nobody's heard from him in ages? Grumpy Cat? That's him. Oh, okay. So Grumpy Cat is 648 views a day. That's So that shows you kind of how the measure of where Matt Frazier's fame is. He's at 188 views a day and Grumpy Cats, who's been gone for a very long time. Nobody has any idea who that is. Look him up if you don't remember. 648 on average. Sylvie Brown, who's been dead for a very long time. Raggedy Ann out, out uh, fames him. Uh, kind of interesting, I, I think. So I, I get emails from Matt Frazier all the time. And Matt, I don't know why he sends me these emails, but he does. He wants me to check out his channel and and that kind of thing. And so I've just pulled one up at random. So this one, I want you to look at it. Like I said, he's one of the best cold readers I've actually seen. Um, he's, he's very smooth. But if you really pay attention to him, Oh man. Okay. So let's, let's just go through this really quick. It's a, it's a quick, pretty quick reading. So let's see where we go with this. So here he is. There's his, his thing. Pretty music. Hi, Lorna. How are you? Hi. Where are you guys from? Richland, Washington. Okay. So I have a couple of different souls. Okay. Let's look at this really quick now. So this has been heavily edited because he's not going to, this video is only two or three minutes long of the reading and the rest of his advertisement. And uh, he's not giving people readings that are two or three minutes long on Zoom. Well, let's talk about that for a second. Let's backpack for just backpack. Let's just back up for a second. This man is speaking to dead people, he says. He claims he's speaking to dead people. What the heck is he doing on Zoom with, with you know, giving readings to these people? 
I mean, I'm sure they're very nice and respectable people and, and so on, but really this is, this is, this is the extent of your life. Is this what you, <laughs> you had a TV show at least for one season. Here he is hawking his books. There's his books up over there. Here's a big picture that was taken. That was from his, his TV show, uh, meet the Frasers. And I mean, he's got those candles with the little plastic thing that's flickering. I mean, it's not even real candles. They're not going to melt. They're just like battery operated candles. I don't know. Um, so I, it feels like he's just on his way down. Right. Okay. Here we go. So here, first of all, your father passed. Yes. Okay. So, okay. We don't know how much information has been cut out of this. He says, your father passed and she says, right. Well, that's, She's probably as old as I am. My father's been dead for many years and it's pretty likely, likely to say, but we don't know. We don't know how much is cut out of there. Look at this again here. Look how quick this goes. Watch. Hi. Where are you guys from? Richland, Washington. Okay. So I have a couple of different souls that are here. First of all, your father passed. Yeah. So look how fast that was. That was really quick, but there's a lot missing in there. I'm going to assume he's not hot reading this, this trio because Everything that he's going to say in the coming up is all things that could be easily done if he was cold reading them, which is his typical stance. So here's these three people. They are um, there and um, he's giving him a reading. Now, when you're cold reading them, you're looking at the entire environment and you're making assumptions about the people that you're that you're reading for. And as we go through, you can see kind of what Matt probably thinks of these people which is really sad because these people are seem to be very nice genuine yes. people okay so know that he's here also when i'm connecting who passed the suicide he showed me he shot himself in the head david he's it, there's so much edited out of this so much edited out of this now if they hadn't hit he would have that would have just been gone that would have been edited out so who knows what else he might have done who had a miscarriage? Who had a baby that was put up for adoption? Who had um, who had jumped off a building? Who had been skydiving? Who's been riding in a hot air balloon? I mean, it could be all those things in a lot longer edited um, uh, sitting. And then it's cut down to just these very quick clips. <laughs> so keep that in mind. What is missing? Uh, not just what's hit. But do you see how fast? I'm seeing three. So I happen to read the right here. Right here, right here, right here. It's like really is that how people talk to you all day long matt because that would i i personally would have lost my mind if people were talking to me that quick stood behind you i saw him put a gun up to his head and he said to me this is how i died he's saying to me when i'm connected he's saying i'm sorry i'm so look at this guy over here on the side he's he's like yeah whatever these i okay watch their emotions as we go through these things i find it really interesting. sorry matt, i'm sorry but he goes to me matt i had a very tough life here in this world he says and i'm not here to make excuses he says but what i am here to say is that i wish i never did this because the moment that he died he showed me all the people that loved him that cared about him and all the people that came okay also keep in mind that this is a heavily edited clip that what they're nodding in agreement to might not be what he says. It's not hard. Even I, with my very, very low technical skills of making a video, I can easily take audio and put it into with a with a, a video to, and and play it around with it and move it as as much as I want. That's not hard to do. It's it's pretty basic beginning video editing. So we don't know if what he's saying to them and that they're nodding to is the same thing. They could be nodding about something else. I mean, he could be saying, you know, the weather has been really hot where you live up there. And yes, it is. You know, we, we don't know. So we, we don't have a raw thing to this. He says, and Matt, he goes, the one thing is, is that I didn't know about that here in this world. This wow. is crazy that he's stepping forward right now. Because do you know that he actually tells me that before he had died, he's... Do you really think the dead are saying, Matt, Matt, this is what I'm telling you. Hey, Matt, Matt. This is what he's saying. You really think he's saying that? So, you know, it might not be edited. I don't know. But really, the dead say, Matt. Hey, Matt. He says, Matt, he goes, I was going through so many emotional issues. I Matt. It wasn't just the emotions. He tells me about the fact that he did things that he wasn't proud of. And he shows me about him having some uh, issues with addictions when I'm connecting with him. He's showing me when I'm connecting with him, him fighting with Okay, now, keep in mind, look at this. This woman's like, you're talking to my dead son. 
and I'm just going to have a cup of coffee here with my Tasmanian devil coffee cup. And brother over here is off and wandering away to do whatever he's got to go wander and, and do. We're talking to a dead person. This is their dead family member who's saying, Matt, Matt, here I am. And here he is just going on. With his family. And he actually shows me that he was going from house to house. He was living with different people. And then he shows me, Matt, he goes, I actually took my life. He says, and I did this in a fit of rage because I was the person. He goes, I was always going. He says, I'm blaming everybody else. He says, all right, enough of that. So Matt, Matt, Matt. Here comes the brother back. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, I would have taken a look around me. He goes, I know everybody that was trying to help me. I know that how much that they care. Okay, still going on about the brother. Thing that your father just said to me goes, Matt, he goes, I got to let her know. Matt, I got to let her know. Your father just told me. He says that I wish that I would have gotten to tell her how much that I loved and cared about her more here in this world. He says, Matt, if I could spend one day with her, it would be to tell her how much that I love her. Because when I'm connecting with your father, you know, I got to be honest with you. This was a man who always suffered with his health here in this world. And even though you're... Matt, I want you to know, I always suffered with my health. Still, again, they don't look, they look a little emotional, but... Around you. Oh, and wait a minute. There's one other thing. This is crazy. I've never this had is this crazy. happen with a reading. Did you have somebody here in this world who was struck by lightning? I had a neighbor that was struck by lightning like three times. Your neighbor was struck by lightning three times? They lived on a, the top of a building, and I used to carry their groceries upstairs for them. Is that how he got struck on top of the building? Yeah. Shut the hell up. And he died. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. I never <laughs> know what the soul is going to tell me. I've never had it happen, but he goes to me, goes, Matt, I need to step forward. I was struck by lightning, and I survived. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know if what I was here was true. I've I, I mean, that's so rare. I've never met a soul like that because wow. that neighbor of yours is stepping forward and your father is here as well. And you know that your dad wants to thank you for everything that you did for him before he- All right, let's 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 talk about this. Let's talk about this struck by lightning. All right, it's not that unusual for people to have been struck by lightning. I mean, okay, if you live in certain parts of the world, it's much more likely than others. Or if you have, the, if you're into golfing, okay. People know people who've been struck by lightning if you are in that, like I say, if you live in that part of the world and, and it, um, where there's a lot of lightning strikes where I live, we, we certainly don't. I don't know anybody who's been struck by lightning, but did you see how they reacted? He's like, he just threw something out. Again, it could have been who died in a bathtub, who was in a car accident and uh, was thrown outside the windshield, who was it who had... Um, uh, you know, uh, fell in a cave and, and never came out or who was it? Who's, who, it, I mean, it could have been a, a bunch of things in this probably 30 minute hour long reading. It's now only two minutes. And that was the thing that struck and he just threw out, who do you know who's been struck by lightning? And the guy's like, Oh yeah, my neighbor has been struck by lightning like three times. And he's like, Oh, shut the hook. And he's like, Oh, and he jumps up off his chair. Like, Oh, no way. Nobody's ever done that. And it's like, Really, you're just a little too animated, Matt, like as if it's a big deal to you when it's probably not a very big deal. And then they're like, yeah, so he's been struck like three times. And Matt says, and he died. And you think it's because of the lightning, but we're not really sure if it's from the lightning. He just has died. And they're, <sighs> no. <laughs> Let's see what else we have in store. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the father again. And he's going to lay it on for the this, this son. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this is platitudes. Think of how general it is, some of these statements he's going to make. Friends, your dad's also pointing to your hat. He tells me you have hats of his. I do have a hat that says, yeah. <laughs> he says to me, he goes, Matt, he goes, let him know that I that I see that he kept his hat. And your dad's going, what the hell are you doing with, your, with this beard, by the way? <laughs> oh! My dad goes, you never had that, Matt. He goes, and now all of a sudden he's got this beard. He goes, he looks like a freaking caveman. He says, tell him to clean himself up. But that was your father. Do you understand that? Like, he always used to tease yeah. you here in this world. Oh, all the time. Your father used to love to eat here in this world when I'm connected with oh, him. Because yeah. on the other side, he's, got, he's making himself like, a cheesesteak sandwich your father likes to eat where, where, where are you getting that no kidding 
And he goes, tell, he goes, tell my son, he goes, that nothing's changed with me. And here's your dad, he's got the torpedo roll out and he's showing me <laughs> it's like this steak that he's shaved and, he's, and your dad's like, look at how beautiful this is. Wow. So you know that that's his way of acknowledging in, in spirit that not only is he okay, he says, but he wants you to remember him the way that he was before he got sick. At the end, he tells me about how hard it was because literally you had to drop everything when your dad got sick. He tells me at one point he couldn't even get up he tells me he couldn't walk anymore before he had died. I had to help him out of the bathtub, yeah. He shows me you want- That's quite different. Dad couldn't walk at the end. And the guy says, I had to help him get out of the bathtub. Those aren't quite the same statements. And what is this about evidence? Because dad liked to eat. That's evidence that he's being um, coming through. That's evidence, really? That's good evidence? How about his name, Matt? What's 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 the guy's name? of them literally like carrying your dad he says what, what is his name we haven't seen that yet have we I'm with them he's also talking about the tattoo so did you get the tattoo in memory of him no I, I i'm planning on getting one he says to me let him know that i am going to be with him on that day oh <laughs> because he just showed me like you going through a book and trying to figure out what you're going to get in memory of your dad. I know yeah. what you're going to get because your dad shows me. You sh He shows me you getting his name right on you. He goes, I would tell him not to get it, but I know. How often do you think people get tattoos? Pretty often. How many times do you get a tattoos in memory of somebody that they loved? Pretty often. How often do you think you're going to get a tattoo when the psychic has told you you're going to get a tattoo? Uh, and it's going to say this. What do you mean, Matt? Your dad said, Matt, I know what it is he's going to get under the tattoo. So you're predicting the future now, right? Okay, well, all right then. And then he says, this is what your tattoo is going to say. It's going to say my name on it. Well, what is his name, Matt? <laughs> we still don't know, do we? Why doesn't he tell him? You're going to get the name Joseph, not Joe, but Joseph on your, on your arm, because that's my name, but no one never says that. <laughs> and also he's Matt. <laughs> Cracks me up that the psychics, these, uh, these people on the other side are all calling him Matt, like he's some special person, but <laughs> just can't, um, that the, Guy hasn't got the tattoo, so now he has to go get his tattoo. And he, now he's going to have to get the tattoo exactly the way Matt is just describing it. So if Matt had said, you're going to get a Tinkerbell, uh, Dad says, Matt, he's going to get a Tinkerbell on his arm with a rose in between its lips, you know. <laughs> then the kid would have to go out and get a Tinkerbell with a rose held in its lips. Okay, right. It's just like that, right? Oh, guys what else no he's gonna do it anyway <laughs> he's acknowledging that he also, he also wants to tell me that he knows you kept the truck we tried to when you tried to keep that your dad sees that he says we tried to keep, he said you kept the truck and the guy says no we tried to but that's not a hit i want you to notice this woman here in the middle she's got her phone right she's got her phone right here now You'll see her looking down at it like she's texting and, and reading something in there. She's not filming, I don't think. I think she's I think she's texting a friend or something. I don't get it. What you're in contact with your dear dad and you're busy texting, or is it like words with friends? Are you playing like um uh candy crush? <laughs> What's going on? Why why are you not engaged in this reading that your dad is is in contact with you? And the neighbor who was struck by lightning three times. I mean, he's here for some strange reason. He's here. I don't know why. And it wasn't even like a friend. It, he said it was a neighbor. But actually what he said was, I delivered groceries to this guy who lived up on the top of the floor of the building. And and he's coming through. Do you guys believe this? You, you buy all this? This is great. And when you try to keep that after his passing, know that your dad says, listen, See how she's don't be upset. He goes, I want you to know that you don't need that to feel my soul around you. He says, I'm with you every day. I am watching over you. And every day that goes by, I'm there and by your side. All right? Thank, you. You Thank you. Thank you. Maybe she's playing Wordle. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Oh, man.
one more thing. I also want to connect with your dad. I keep smelling this tobacco smell when I'm connecting with him. Yeah, he was a smoker, a heavy okay. smoker. <laughs> so know that anytime that you smell that, that's his way of letting you know that he's there. And that's you sensing and feeling his presence around you. Every time you smell tobacco smoke, that's your dad's way of sending you a message that he's there with you. Every time you smell cigarette smoke. I mean, really? The thing this is crazy i've never had this happen oh this lightning thing and dad dad once you get a tattoo with his name on it and the the he's happy that you're wearing his hat and thank you for helping me out of the bathtub and i like to eat and i i was a chain smoker and and i love you and i'm very close to you mahalki <laughs> It's just like, really? We still don't know his name, do we? Mm -mm. What was the name of the guy who got struck by lightning, Matt? Where was that at? What was the name of the building? Where is that city? What are the names of the people who are sitting there in front of you? How come you had to ask them where they live? Just feels like he's really descending, Matt Fraser, from his TV show and his glitzy outfits. That's cold reading. That's all just cold reading. And then a lot of help from the editing. So hopefully you guys like these kinds of videos and you like these deep dives into things. If so, please subscribe and hit the little like button and the little bing. And um, we'll get some more of these done. I haven't done these in a while, and I'm going to get back to the doing videos. Thanks all.